In this video, I'm taking a look at pivot points and one of my favorite ways to use them. Uh, I've got the cues in front of you, and this is a 15 minute chart. And this is the daily chart. And you can see we are in a bullish mode and have been at this point for several years. You see, we just continue to take off to the upside. Uh, at this point, as you know, and as I've tried to pound into your head this entire uh, course so far, do not fight the trend. So now that we know that we don't fight the trend, we never fight the trend, it leads to heartache, we can look at pivot points. So I'm going to go to click indicators. Uh, I'm going to go to pivot point standard. Be done with that. And the thing about pivot points is they are, I think they're they're somewhat reliable, but they should never be used by themselves. Now, they can be used much like a Fibonacci um, retracement or extension in the sense that they give you a suggestion as to where you should be looking. And ironically, one of the things that I find most useful for pivot points, and I, I use the cues because this is a perfect example of it, is that when you have something, a move going against the grain, against the longer term trend, a lot of times these pivot points are a great place to look for a trade. So for example, I'm going to take a look at some of these pivot points and some of these days, how they played out and give you an idea as to what I'm seeing here. So for example, we're in an uptrend, as I mentioned, we gap lower during the day here, right at the open, this is 15 minutes into the trading session. Well, the first candlestick that we form is a hammer. We are well below the pivot. We're at support two. We almost get to support three. It's very rare you get beyond support or resistance three. So as we formed a hammer here, putting your stop loss below support three makes a lot of sense. It's below the 181. You're getting in at about 182, maybe 182 and some change. So what are you aiming for? Uh, you're aiming at the very least for the next support level, if not the pivot itself. Now, you don't quite get to the pivot until the middle of the next day. But as you're closing out your position at the end of the session, you're closing out at 184. Not a bad little trade, $2 or $200 per lot minus commissions. So... As I go ahead and zoom back, you can see that we gapped here, found the support at resistance one, and rallied a bit from there. That hammer makes a lot of sense to me, though. I would have the uh, stop loss underneath uh, pivot, and then as the thing moved higher, I would be putting it behind each one of these points. Now, why do I find this gap and this support okay? Well, it's because longer term, we're in an uptrend. That's really the basis of that. This is an interesting candle because we open up underneath the pivot and then rally on this huge bar. This big bar right here is reason enough to aim for uh, higher uh, pricing. Resistance one was always going to give you trouble. You knew that but you could put your stop below the pivot and ended up working out at the end of the day. Not a major trade, not a great trade, but certainly worked out okay. As you can see here, we fell rather hard uh, right away and uh, ended up uh, down at uh, support three by the end of the day. So the fact that we reversed all of that was also another signal that that trade was going to be very strong. And again, keep in mind that uh, you know, it's very rare we get past support three or resistance three. So at this point, if you are short of this just because of the gap, uh, you have to be taking profits before you get there. And again, it's against the trend. So quite frankly, I would have ignored that. Um, you know, when it's with the trend, I, I trade it. And, and I say that in almost every video in this course, because with the trend is what matters. That's what will bail you out of a lot of so-so trading decisions. Here's a gap lower. We find support at support one by the end of the candle. That's a buy signal. So where are we going? Well, resistance one would have been one target. Resistance two would have been another. You're not interested in aiming for resistance three, although it's possible. 
but you recognize that resistance to support two are about as wide as the market gets. This hammer on support one after a gap lower in an uptrend, perfect trade. So this is how I like using uh, pivot points. Uh, it's probably by far been the most profitable way. I use it as a signal to go with the trend when the market has perhaps thrown a bit of a tantrum. And you can see we gapped lower here. We found support at uh, support one, rallied to the pivot. That's a nice quick little trade. Kind of died out after that, but uh, full disclosure, this is a Friday. So really by the time you get halfway through the session, you're losing volume anyways. Uh, no need to fight the trend. You just use these pivot points as an area to look for buying opportunities if the move goes against the trend. If it goes with the trend, then you can use them as support on the way up. I would say if um, I was to rate these trades, these pullbacks to support one, possibly even support two, and a supportive candle, that's like an A-plus trade for me for a short-term scalp. The one that uh, I pointed out here where we broke higher and then came down to find support at resistance one, that's you know, maybe a B-plus uh, trade or B at best. I don't like these as much as I like this because this represents that the queues have gotten a bit lower, but the value hunters are coming in. We know it's worth more. The market has told us that for quite some time. Uh, been in an uptrend. This, of course, has been a bit sideways in this area. And uh, really, when you look back, and now the reason is, it's because you can see support anyways. So uh, that's what you look for. You always look for some type of secondary reason. The hammer, tertiary reason, the support. You know, the support uh, one line, the support two line, uh, offering uh, support here, the support three line not being broken. There's a lot of different reasons to be in this trade. So this is kind of the perfect setup. Uh, so again, look for it to gap away from the trend, form some type of supportive or resistive candle if it's in a downtrend, and take advantage of these levels.